So um, thank you for having us. My name is uh, Scarlett Varga. I am uh, Deputy uh, Head of Development in Bruegel. Uh, Bruegel is an economic think tank based here in Brussels, close to Arloa. And um, I specifically work on uh, not development as you, but uh, business development inside our organization. And I'm also a member of the steering committee of uh, the Brussels Binder, um, which we are here for today to present it to you. Pauline, you want mm -hmm. to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'll just say a few words. So I also work in uh, Scarlett's team uh, uh, at Bruegel, and I'm specifically in charge of raising funds and managing projects that we get uh, from public sources. Um, so it's a lot of relations and projects with the EU institutions, um, and also a part of the steering committee of the of the Brussels Binder, which we'll present, I guess, in a, in a yeah, minute. Yeah, <laughs> I think we can kind of, um, I mean, I think we can kind of jump into it uh, right away because we are more in a res like um, restricted uh, circle, let's say. Um, I think we just wanted to say that basically um, we usually have a PowerPoint presentation, but uh, we thought that for a smaller group uh, it's not necessary today. Um, we will we will talk about gender equality, of course, today, and we will focus specifically on gender equality at the workplace. Um, um, and I think that. What is to be said about this initiative before Pauline gets into the technical part is that, you know, it was put together by a, a group of, of think tanks uh, for the moment based in Brussels and, uh, you know, being us being women getting together and discussing the issue because we face the same challenge in all of our organizations, being constantly organizing big events and being constantly faced with the challenge of bringing more female voices on the panels. And the usual, you know, the usual explanation is that we maybe don't know enough uh, experts in that area. We, um, you know, we don't know how they would speak, how they would think, how they would perform, and so on. So we really thought that this is not a good explanation, not a good, um, you know, uh, issue to raise, and it could have quite an easy, uh, as should we say, quite an easy solution. So this is why we, we, we started this initiative. Um, Pauline, shall I hand over right away and no. then we can jump mm -hmm. into, the into the presentation? Um, yeah, so Scarlett did mention that it's, uh, it, the idea really originated from, uh, from uh, informal discussions between, uh, between uh, different uh, women who work in, in think tanks and they would meet at events and regularly uh, realize, well, here comes another male, uh, all male panel um, and there's already some organizations and there's awareness, I think, in the, in the Brussels bubble uh, of the issue. And but there's a lot of uh, pointing and naming and shaming uh, things. And we thought we wanted the, well, they, because I wasn't there yet, but I can say we, I guess, a, a general we. Um, we thought that, uh, that it would be good to have a solution focused uh, uh, approach to, uh, to the issue. We say, well, women are actually there. They are women experts. Um, there's a, uh, and they're actually not that hard to find. You just need to actually just look for them. And a lot of the excuses is, is all the time that it's, uh, oh, I don't know, I don't know where to, to find them. I don't think there are women experts in the field. So we thought, you know what, let's cut the, this, this, these excuses and actually provide something that's easy to, uh, to, to browse and, and, and encourage women to sign up to, uh, to, uh, to a database. It would be amazing if we could have actually a big book of all the women experts in uh, in some issues and you can you can look for them and and all of this and well it's a bit it is challenging to create a database and and all of this we're still at the early stage but this is uh, this is how the 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 idea developed so that's that all started in around the beginning of 2015 uh, it took it took a good year year and a half to really develop the idea um, and finally in uh, in, tw in early 2016 um, we we made the jump and organized a big fundraising event uh, to to secure some well enough funds to be able to contract uh, um, well to get someone to build a database mm -hmm. um, because we wanted to make sure that it would be professional that it's the technical specifications are actually good and we can build on this as the project grows um, and uh, and we did raise quite uh, quite well we raised enough money to be able to uh, to to tender out. Uh, um, this uh, the construction of the database and the website, um, and we finally and once this was done uh, throughout 2016, we were able to launch uh, the database officially. Um, well, earlier this year was it late January 20, uh, 2018. Um, so the database has now been around for about 10 months, um, and it's uh, so it's still, I would say, quite the beginning. 
Um, well, I can show you a little bit. So that's that's mm -hmm. that's the website. I mean, I think um, I think you can uh, you can have a look. We try to make it as uh, as uh, easy to use as possible. Well, obviously we're where none of us are really digital experts and uh, it was a, it's always a bit uh, difficult to to manage uh, well to convey what we want to do with the technical specifications and the, the limited budget that we have and also the limitations of the people building the database so it's a work in progress but we hope that it's going to keep improving mm -hmm. um, so uh, basically the idea is that you can uh, you can search if <laughs> the connection is is uh, is uh, is working exactly. So then, uh, so then you can you can look through sectors. But I I think most people would use uh, areas an area of expertise. So for instance, I mean we could try international development. I don't know if we made it. Uh, we made a we made a preset list of tags to make sure that we people would be grouped into uh, into a. a, a the right way so this was already a big discussion to <laughs> what fields uh, what what areas of expertise we do but for instance you can look just uh, areas of development you could further uh, further um, refine the search by as by, by looking if they're by looking for specific people in it with this tagged expertise but if if you want them to reside in a specific country or speak a certain language there's also a way so you can uh, yeah this country <coughs> residence language or even regions of expertise but if we do just a general one because we have about, I think, a thousand uh, profiles so far. Um, uh, so, so it's still very much the beginning. But as you can see, I think we have quite. I actually need both hands. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's actually quite quite a lot of women uh, signed up for international development. Mm -hmm. So they're right there. <laughs> um, and so you can you can see very quickly where they uh, which. Uh, which other expertise they have and uh, and which organization they're from and if you want to see their full profile so let's look i don't know who uh, lon poissonnier is but, <laughs> but she's she'll be she's <laughs> lucky um so yeah so she put a little bio so that's uh, the that's the the way there's the profile so she's not a good example because she didn't add a lot that's also a big a bit of a, the struggle that we're having we're trying to we don't want to be the ones uh uh, f uh, standardizing or harmonizing the way that the profiles look. We leave it up to the people to present themselves, but um, I think a lot of people sign up quite quickly, but we try to encourage them more and more to add links and, and show maybe also link their, if they have a website, if they have uh, done publications. Um, so I don't know if we could find a, mm -hmm. another one maybe. Um, maybe in the meantime, as Pauline is looking, mm -hmm. I, I can also add that, um, you know, the objective somehow here as, as well, besides the fact that we want to give this option to people, to event organizers, to, to you, to colleagues, whoever needs uh, to uh, exchange and wants to exchange more with women experts, is also to help women experts step up more. Uh, there have been studies behind this um, that say that basically women have much more trouble um, selling themselves, um, you know, taking up on new tasks if they don't feel 100% prepared for them. So I think that here, and that's why we have this challenge, I think, with the websites and with the, with the profiles, you know, people need to learn how to present their achievements and to remember that, yeah, all those things are valuable and they should be present on that site. So more, more matches will be made. So it's a bit on, you know, work on two sides and, and the website, it's, oh, we hope that the website will facilitate that and will help us, help us do that. Yeah, I don't really know uh, um, what, uh, what more to say. Um, but yeah, I think right now we're still at the phase where we want to improve the database so it's, it's, it's even more usable. Uh, we already have a very long list of things that we don't like actually about the way it is currently and we want to improve. So actually, if you're using it and, and your colleagues start using it and you have any feedback, we're really in that phase where we're really welcoming any kind of... Uh, mm -hmm any kind of, uh, of input into how we can improve and make it make the people who would actually use it, um, uh, well, encourage them to use it even more. Um, and it really, the idea is, so Scarlett mentioned for it's, the database is also for the, for women to see themselves as experts and, and, and promote their achievements. But uh, the main users of the database beyond our experts would, would be the people who organize uh, conferences and are looking for speakers or um, as well, you might be looking for experts, not necessarily for a panel. So it could be 
we we target in particular the media because that's also uh, that's also an issue that uh, we're very aware of. It's um, it's the fact that in the end, when journalists are writing an article, um, they tend a lot of the time. I, I don't have the statistics in mind, but a lot of the times, it's actually they're asking male experts. So it's male 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 experts who are quoted, who are cited, who are asked for interviews, and who are asked to to give their opinions. When there there's actually uh, plenty of women that would that could benefit from uh, from more uh, from more promotion in the media. Um, um, so yeah, I don't know if you have uh, any questions or uh, um, if you want to maybe react um, a little bit. If you face what face uh, what challenges you face in uh, in in Abel and in your daily work, and what if there's anything that you find hard about uh, about um, finding more women uh, women experts in your fields. I know that this is the can you use this more background to the name? Oh right! Oh yeah. oh, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a of a of a joke. Um, if you remember during the American elections a while ago, uh, Mitt Romney made that uh, now infamous uh, infamous quote of um, when asked uh, yeah, when asked uh, if uh, how many women when asked a bit about parity and equal uh, equal representation, and he said, oh, but we have them. We know the the women. We have binders full of women. Um, and he made that that uh, that joke. So we decided it was quite fun to call it the Brussels binder. I didn't know. Because <laughs> I didn't see the, the LinkedIn is just the mm -hmm. yeah. No, exactly. So the and and also we thought that the yeah, idea is actually binder. quite nice of saying, well, it's a digital binder. Um, but that the idea is that really you can browse through. Mm -hmm. You have you have all of the experts supposedly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, so they do register, so we invite everybody. As you mentioned before, there are certain GDPR rules to be respected and we, we all have to uh, take that into consideration. But basically we, what we're working on at the moment is to um, you know, uh, disseminate the idea to as many uh, female experts as possible. And we want to work very much with our male colleagues, because that's the point, right? We want to have a, a, an equal exchange. And inviting them, inviting the experts to register first of all. And when they register, they have, um, you know, the pre-registration, let's say. And uh, it, ha it it happens often because people are in a rush, or it happens often that people just, you know, start with the filling it in, and then they just leave it hanging for a while. So we have to always follow up with the people, but they have indeed the the, you know, the sole responsibility in touching the profile. So we never fill in anything for them. We uh, we do have a, an approval. Uh, process uh, which is um, reinforced at the moment uh, because we want of course the binder to be a qualitative product as well we don't want to have uh, weird profiles or fake profiles and for the moment we can we do not um, gather male profiles either because this is more for female and who considers themselves female profiles so um, males do not uh, male, male experts are not yet in, in mm. will not be in the binder um, but voila, to, yeah, to reply to your question, uh, the people are indeed in full, have full responsibility and uh, management rights, let's say, on their profile. Yeah. We, do, we do not, and also this is not the direction that we want to take to vouch for the profiles or verify in any kind of way mm -hmm. the information. We are thinking of a, a bit of a quality process, but there's a lot of ideas floating around of maybe just a, a question of maybe once uh, an expert has been invited by someone maybe there's just a little tick that says you know verification that person spoke at an event you know that's a real person mm -hmm. with with rush events but we don't want to also because it would be incredibly time consuming to check uh, individually all the achievements or <coughs> add add to the profiles really the idea is uh, i mean it's a uh, it's a uh, technical constraints but also a bit uh, ideologically speaking we we want to leave people um, in charge of their own uh, their own profile and also we they they can be contacted directly but we don't uh, give their email address although once you have the name if you find mm -hmm. the name and the organization of the people usually we can't maybe some people some experts get contacted uh, without our knowledge but we don't also we don't get to we read the messages we just get to see who has clicked on a sending a, basically you can uh, you can send a you can just hit contact and then it's it's a form and mm -hmm. we'll just know who uh, who how many uh, how many uh, clicks we had on a contact uh, how many sends mm -hmm. uh, were made but we don't really know so that's also one of the big avenues uh, for improvement for us to track the and and collect a bit of statistics to know how how well this is working um, 
because for now I think this is quite limited, but we're trying to encourage uh, more and more people to use it. We've really focused our communication first on getting as many experts. Mm -hmm. And I think we're, we're f finalizing, let's say the stage, we're at a stage where with 800 to 1000 profiles, we can start disseminating the database a bit more, but ideally we would need probably tens of thousands so that people can really get, uh, get the expert that they're looking for and, and, and find it easily. And now, so the idea was to really start in the Brussels circle because there we had the knowledge and we also had the partners to start and you know to start this idea. Um, but uh, we would like to, this to grow on a European level, at least for the moment we are thinking Europe. And um, there are some initiatives existing in different European countries, but they are much more sectoral, sectorial, or um, you know based on a certain language or based on a certain. Um, um, geographical coverage and so on. So we would like to, in the future, to team up with those uh, databases to you know bring them under the same, I wouldn't call it umbrella, we don't maybe mm. like the word umbrella, but um, or branding, but we would like to, you know, put the sources in the same bucket, let's say, so people have access because there has been work done already on this and it should be accessible, easily accessible for people. Otherwise, it's just lost effort. No, exactly. We're, we, we dream that in a couple of years, um, if we have the, the funding also to develop the, to develop the database uh, the way we want to and to really go beyond Brussels, the idea would not be that we, we co-opt or, or absorb initiatives that are much more efficient on the ground anyways, because they, they know their sector, they know, they know their, the national context. Uh, but the idea would be that maybe we have a repository. And mm. personally, I, I would dream of if you're looking for a, uh, you have a very, very specific search and maybe the binder provides only three profiles, but then then is a database could say, but since you're looking in the digital fields, look maybe at this at woman in tech uh, or at this database. And then we would refer a little bit to other um, to other uh, other databases because okay. our idea is not novel in that sense. It does exist. There's a, there's one process in France uh, called Les Experts. Um, so uh, so there are some synergies, let's say, to be built, um, and we hope that uh, that we we get to do that. But yeah, since we're entirely, it's entirely actually we should have mentioned that from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a it's volunteer run, mm -hmm. so uh, it's really for for all of us who work in think tanks. We dedicate a few hours a week uh, um, to 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 get this. But yeah, no, for now we don't have funding to 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 hire any staff or uh, or get uh, or get someone to work on it permanently. I think we're reaching the limit of what we can do with just volunteers. Um, yeah. So yeah, we didn't mention our well. You can you can look on the website as well. We've 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 received support. There's uh, from also big uh, from big corporations mm -hmm. um, like uh, Google has given us a, a, a bit of uh, a bit of money, and we've worked with them on because they have several initiatives um, uh, for uh, for for female empowerment and equal representation. Um, but yeah, 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 and consultancy as well. I, I, yes. No, yeah, we Please. were talking a lot. Interested to know how did uh, how did you design what, what was the process in, in designing the database? Mm -hmm. It was a long process. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. actually thought. Uh, I mean, Pauline here is more of a geek uh, than me. But we actually, uh, when we started, I believe we all thought that it's going to be a much faster process. Um, I think that the fact that. Uh, <laughs> Those people are smiling in the room. Um, <laughs> the fact that uh, we are a big group of think tanks, it's a very big added value, as Pauline said, because we would do this all on a voluntary, voluntary basis and you know we make ourselves available for whatever is needed whenever it is needed. But in the same time, uh, then you have a lot of voices around the table with different, very different expertise, very different ideas on how certain things should look in order to be easily accessible. And that's what we really want here, right? I mean, it's it's a tool, it's a database. It's really the, the main idea is for people to be easily going into it and finding the solutions that they're looking for. Otherwise, it's mm -hmm. so there were there was a lot of discussion. And yes, after, as Pauline mentioned, um, after we did the fundraising, that was our first big event. Uh, that money was pulled into uh, finding a, um, Mm -hmm. Designer, like um, yeah. So basically, we did a we did a, a, an open call. We also contacted yeah. firms directly because we knew at that point, not a lot of people would see the call for a for a, for a, for a web developer. Um, and then uh, uh, through a long process already and a few months to select, and we didn't we 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 talked. We had interviews with a few shortlisted uh, uh, developers. 
Um, and then we worked with them. We created a bit of a template of what we had in mind. Uh, but and then that's when all we got. We had to then as soon as the, per the the web developer was contracted with the first draft website, then that's when the interesting stuff begins of really looking into the nitty gritty. So okay, so how do we search what is feasible technically? And we found for all of us who are not in the in the web development field, we we realized also that there's actually a lot of technical uh, uh, obstacles. To, uh, to, to searching, it's not, it's not very straightforward, mm -hmm. unless uh, if we had half a million euros, sure, uh, <laughs> we would get maybe someone who can build us something amazing and, and maintain it uh, all the time, but they were, uh, uh, there was a lot of discussions on how do we search and what's, what's, uh, what's feasible, what's, uh, do we make the, do we make the, do we allow people to, to create their own, uh, their own, um, hashtags, let's say the keywords, uh, the tags mm -hmm. that would uh, make it searchable. How, do, how does the database searches? Um, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, questions. I don't know if you want to uh, go even more specific. But no, yeah. basically the designing digital platforms takes time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can give a confirmation. That's, uh,